I sing this song with the hope of peace for all mankind. Let's plant a seed of love in our lives. Starting today, turn your enemy into your friend. Take the first step and lend him your hand. My jazz project, which included English high students and staff and work-study students from Berkeley College of Music. The Jazz Project played several school events and met with great success. With the help of like-minded colleagues, he is using this success as a springboard to bring larger musical experiences to the English high community. Peter, welcome back once again thank for, for much, joining Laura. us. And Rick, thank you once again for that beautiful musical rendition. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you and Peter, uh, Peter, you and Rick, got mm -hmm. tied in and some of the work you've done at English High and elsewhere. Well, as you mentioned, I was the peer mediation coordinator for English High last year and the organization for which I was working, um, I got forwarded an email that uh, Rick's organization, Jazz for Peace, had sent um, to uh, the, the organization for whom I was working. They forwarded it to, to me because I'm the music guy in, uh, in that organization. And uh, Yeah, just so to give you a little mm -hmm. uh, off uh, what, what we do is our volunteers choose organizations uh, based on their mission statements mm. to be potential recipients of our jazz of funds as well as publicity and awareness from our Jazz for Peace Benefit Concert Series. So Peter's organization was chosen. Our volunteers are looking for outstanding organizations that they feel if they were better funded and more publicized, the world would be a better place. That's basically how, you know the simplicity wow. of it. And so Peter was you know a chosen organization. And uh, go ahead, Peter. Right. Well, we are lucky then, Peter, because we obviously uh, your outstanding work has been recognized. And I appreciate you saying that. So um, I and members of, of your organization, we started the dialogue, and this was back in, in the late winter and early spring, so around March, April. Um, I went down to New York, had some conversations with people from, from Jazz for Peace, and we've been working over the summer, and here we are, and our event is uh, going to take place October 12th. October 12th. Now give us a few more details about that, and I think we have a flyer. Yeah, we do. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, so if, uh, there it is. Um, English High Jazz for Peace. Just briefly while it's up, tell us a little bit of the details sure. and what we can expect. Um, Rick um, talked a little bit about um, the two different types of events um, that uh, Jazz for Peace does. We're going to be, uh, we're fortunate enough to um, be hosting a day. Um, we're actually combining a, the education series and mm, the benefit concert series. It's a two-part oh, event. Okay. So the educational series program for the kids will be during the day, okay. which is really exciting because you know we just we have a wonderful program that takes you all the way through the history of jazz in you know one little forty-five minute segment, and uh, it's it's entertaining. The kids love it, so we're going to give that to the kids in the daytime, which I'm very excited about always. And then at night we have the fundraiser uh, to launch this uh, music program. Right. Oh. Which takes place 6.30 Friday, October 12th. 6.30 evening. location evening. again? English High School. It's English at one, High School. 144 McBride Street. That's right. So yeah. right uh, across from Doyle's. For those of you exactly. who are familiar with Jamaica Plain, we always like to give some landmarks. And again, the uh, the price of admission? It, well, there are some discount tickets available. Okay. Uh, Peter will tell the number to call that you can still get now. Those are twenty-five dollars per ticket. Okay. Uh, at the door, or or once these discount tickets run run out, they will be they're thirty-five dollars per ticket. Okay. But the reason I want to say that is because if someone can, if someone does call, there are a few left, right? Sure. And what sure. number should that be? Left. Left. That number's on the flyer. Um, the number is, and I'll give it. It's eight five seven two two five zero four one two. Oh, what, what a treat. And uh, how long will the program be? Well, it's, our, our events are usually a two-hour event in terms of the benefit concert. Uh, concert. It gives you plenty of time for jazz, but also a little meet and greet, you know, chances for mm -hmm. Peter to come up and speak and tell everyone about his program, those sort of things. And it's not too long. You know, people don't have to commit their whole evening. It's short, sweet, and fun. And uh, the, after, the earlier thing, as I mentioned, was just uh, like a one-hour presentation for the kids. During the day, mm -hmm. during oh, the school that, day. That's wonderful. So we get a twofer. Yes. Exactly. Oh, that, yeah. that is wonderful. Now talk about, you know, you have this event coming up, but, you know, then you're off again. So yes. talk about where you go from here, and then how do you stay in touch, hopefully, with us here in Boston, uh, with some of the great work you're doing and actually continuing 
given the funding that you provide you know, mm -hmm. to our local schools and our students, I'm sure you like to check in and see how they're doing and how those initiatives are, are working out. That is for sure. Uh, well, I'll tell you, the uh, www.jazzforpeace.org is the easiest way to find out about Jazz for Peace. You know, it, you can, you can even if, you're, if you forget that, you can put jazzforpeace.com also will take you there. But jazzforpeace.org uh, takes you there. You can go into current events and you can find out everything. And I'll tell you a, a funny thing. I got a call today from Detroit, someone who uh, is going to be in New York. And they said, we're coming to New York and we want to see you play. I said, well, I think I'll be playing in New York that time. I said, are you online now? They said, yes. Yeah. So check the events. And they checked the Oh, no, no, no. You're going to be in Kansas City. And then you're going to be in Chicago go and uh, you have this other thing you'll be on the 30th and so I don't have the I don't have it in my memory but it, it is bet pretty hectic and pretty crazy in fact only about three weeks ago we had an international expansion series concert that took place in Copenhagen Denmark wow. so you know the the world is starting to catch on and w again we have started an international expansion series program which takes Razor Peace concerts all over the world well, you know, that, that's what's so exciting in the work that, Peter, that you're doing here in Boston with, with the, the students, and, Rick, the, the work that you do uh, not only uh, nationally but internationally. And when you look at the very difficult times that our country goes through, and, you know, you open the newspaper or you turn on the television or you go on the Internet, and, and you see the devastation and the lack of communication that is out there, and, you know, we have to do something to turn that around. We have to do it here locally mm -hmm. to make sure our kids aren't fighting battles among themselves and each right. other here at home. And then we have to hopefully, uh, nationally and internationally, make sure that we can find some common ground. And when you, you hear your beautiful music and we think of the young kids having the opportunity to learn and to find that talent that they may have, you know, mm -hmm. buried deep inside, but if they don't have the exposure, they're never going to know that that talent's there and that ability to reach out to others and that, here and beyond. And that's where that worldwide effect starts. I mean, we're talking on a, on a grand scale, but it really starts locally. It starts, that's you right. know, in the school that I'm in. It starts the various cities that Jazz Rupees goes to. It starts locally. It starts small, and it grows. And it only takes a few people starting in different locations. And before you know it, they're all linking up. They're all working on common, common pursuits. And it's growing into something that's bigger than anyone else could have thought. The Benefit Concert Series is actually uh, one of the main points, besides raising funds, publicity, and awareness at no cost to the recipient organization, is a long-term partnership. So we look at this as uh, a first in a series of opportunities for Jazz Peace to come to Boston and help Peter. And also, Peter is, is so interested in Jazz Peace that we're hoping to work with Peter to bring this to other schools as oh, well. Isn't that wonderful? Well, it's just great to see the great work that you do, Peter. Thank you. Uh, really, from a pilot perspective, is being recognized by Rick Delarada and the wonderful work that he does with Jazz for Peace. And we are just so grateful to have this opportunity today on our show to be able to highlight what you, Peter, and you, Rick, are doing. I hear jazz.